Hey guys, in today's tutorial we are creating this cool C monochrome logo you see right here with Affinity Designer version 2 and its new shape builder tool you find right here. And to start we need a new clean document starting with the graphic text tool right here and typing in a big C, making it bigger and choosing a font we want. In this case I'm using the font Righteous to get the logo shown before. And this font is a free font from Google. You can download at fonts.google.com. And the next step is selecting the move tool, making this C shape bigger, the C letter, and moving in the middle of our screen for a document by having snapping activated. And the next step is to select the ellipse tool right here and hold down shift by, while creating to create perfect ellipses which are circles may, uh, selecting with the move tool and depending on how many and um, in which way you want those shapes to be um, you have to choose um, the position and the radius or of your circle. So keep that in mind before creating and in this case we're going with the color red and opacity 50% so we can work better with it. And now <clears throat> we're zooming in a little bit, moving above this one like this. So above this edge and a little bit above the C like that and duplicate by holding down command and J. And if you're using Windows PCs, you can use control instead of command for every command I'm using. So in this case, it would be control and J. And now by, uh, we have duplicate our circle and we can move it like this and trying to get the same size or um, look of our shape and moving a little bit above the edge again. You can also use the uh, move um, arrow, arrows to move by one pixel if you have selected pixels as your document size. And now duplicate again and again moving like this and trying to get the same look like this and a little bit above the edge like this should do. And now we need to go with a rectangle to the middle of our C, move it like this. And the next step is to readjust some circles that are not th that perfect. So in this case, we're going down a little bit with this one. So we're having a, a bigger space right here. And the next step is to select all of our shapes and then clicking on this tool which is the new shape builder tool you only find in affinity designer version 2 and then we are going with this action with the plus which means create a new shape from selected areas and remove used areas from original objects and we're now clicking with freehand holding down and moving to create our shapes so this will be the first shape this will be the second the third and our last shape. And now we can go with the move tool again and we can select every unwanted shape and delete those shapes. And also this now invisible transparent C. And the next step is selecting those curves, making them black. We don't need a fill for the stroke yet. Go with opacity 100%. And now we need a fill for the stroke. So we're going with something um, that is visible on our black um, filling. So we're going with white and we're going with stroke, for example, 1.5 PT I'm using, but that's up to you. Then I'm using the butt cap, the metro join and the line stroke to inside. And the next step, if you're satisfied with uh, the distance and how it looks, you can go to, by having everything selected, go to um, layer right here and click on expand stroke. And the next step is selecting this add um, um, symbol in the Boolean operations right here. And now we have one curves from the strokes and the other curves for the fillings. And now we're selecting everything again and going with our shape builder tool again. And now we are selecting the minus. So we are deleting selected areas from objects. 
we're zooming in and we're clicking on every um, white area we want to delete so those era areas and we can now go with the move tool and we can click on add again if we want to but that's not a must and we can now duplicate again flip vertically and move like this so adjust and now use the arrow keys if you have pixels it is even better because you see and um, the one pixel steps till you have the same distance so something like this should do and if you want to add um, some detail we can create those um, those shapes right here for this we are going with a rectangle selecting this um, corner right here and moving giving a fill for example black or red should fill and without a stroke and now making sure that it's something um, not that much but something um, that it's still visible so we're going with 30 pixels by having this but um, selected 30 pixels to the left now we are duplicating again holding down shift to turn around um, by 90 degrees moving like here selecting this spot again and going with 20 now and the same thing we have to do for the part right here so we again we're going with the rectangle moving here and here and selecting this spot and going with 30 perfect and duplicating again and holding down shift to turn around by 90 degrees and moving like this and now again selecting this spot and going with 20 and now selecting our upper curve selecting the node tool right here and clicking right here to create a node and selecting this one going convert to sharp or leave it that way but i'm normally going with sharp and holding down shift and moving to this um, this line like this and also for this part right here creating a new node and moving this one to that so i think that sharp is not looking that good so we're going with smooth so we're going simply going back with uh, back with command c and now moving like this and again the same thing for the bottom part so right here and right here so you can choose if you want to keep it um, smart or um, smooth or if you want to keep it sharp so in that way we are um, keeping um, we're not using sharp we're keeping our node because that is looking better we can now delete all of the rectangles and we can select the whole shape and click on add if you want to so we can work um, easier with it as one curve and if you want to give it a gradient fill we are going to this tool right here and clicking on our curve of course clicking here holding down and moving to this spot and now we are getting our colors from this shape so this one double click the hex code is this one we are copying it and pasting right here and clicking enter and we are also copying this hex code double click and this is this hex code for this color and right here click here double click paste and enter and that way we have um, our filling we can now make it even bigger if you want to by holding down shift because it's only a curve otherwise you would lose the proportions and to make it pop out of our background we can use outer shadow and something like 30 and 50 should do and 15 degrees or 20 and 40 maybe that's up to you 20 and 30 and yeah after that we are finished with this video and if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye